Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. You asked me to create more of fall inspired outfits So I decided to create this beautiful shirt that is perfect for the fall. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started create this pattern you will need basic pattern for bodice and you can find that on my channel. I'm starting with the back and I'm taking away the incision that is on the shoulder and adding three centimeters extra. Then I'm gonna go ahead and create another layer underneath the lower line that is 27 centimeters long and the side I'm just gonna create like an oval shape. Moving on to the front piece, for the front I'm gonna close the incision that's placed in the um, side of the chest and I'm gonna measure from the neckline downwards 16 centimeters to create this rectangle. Then for the other part of the front I'm doing as I did for the back. We will also need an inner lining for the collar, so I'm gonna measure 4 centimeters thick and then I'm just following the pattern as you can see here. I'm doing exactly the same thing for the back as well. The sleeves I'm gonna take away the incisions and I'm gonna add four centimeters extra for the folding which are two centimeters on the sides you can place folding whatever you want for the cuffs I'm gonna create a rectangle that is 23 centimeters long and eight centimeters thick for the collar I'm creating a rectangle that is 19 centimeters long and six centimeters thick I'm taking away minus one centimeter on the side as well as on the other just to create a sharp uh, edge and as well for the second part of the collar I'm creating a rectangle that is 19 centimeters long and three centimeters thick on one side I will take away minus 0 0.5 centimeters just to lift up and make it a little bit more bendish so once you put it on it slides right on your neck For the material you will be needing scissors, pins, crayon, measuring band, four buttons, my pattern, one and a half meter of fabric and a button foot. The first step as always is to place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. Sewing the incisions first on the back side, once I've done that I'm gonna connect those two together to complete the back side. I'm doing exactly the same thing for the front pieces as well. Moving on to the collar. For the collar, as you can see here, I'm just gonna sew one side, the bigger part, and then once I have done that, I'm gonna flip it inside out and connect it together with this little thinner part of the collar. Then I'm taking the front piece and adding the inner collar for the nice edge. Then I'm taking the back piece and the front piece and connecting them together on the shoulders. Then you're going to take the collar and place it on the shirt. Complete the front piece by connecting the second part of the front. Connect the sides by sewing a straight line, not all the way down, leave about 15 cm from the lower line. Moving on to the sleeves, the first step is to sew the cuffs. 
for these openings I'm gonna go ahead and take the button foot and just sew the edges and then I'm gonna go and take the cuffs and connect them together with the sleeves be aware that you have to create two little foldings before attaching the cuffs Don't forget to create holes for the buttons and sew two buttons on the side. Connect the sleeves together with the top. For the edges, you're going to zigzag all of the inner lines and fold one centimeter and sew a straight line. Time to make some ribbons so you can close and open the shirt. And this is the finishing product this is how the shirt came out it's very form-fitting it's very beautiful it's very elegant I would do it in just a color and not a print but uh, anyways I really think it's nice I hope you learned something from this tutorial I hope you um, find it helpful and useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like always if you have any other suggestions of what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel please comment below or contact me on my social media all of my links are listed in my description box below. See you till next time. Hey, Doa!